What up guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Thales and we're back with another How To Slice. In today's How To Slice video, we're gonna be checking out a awesome controller case. So let's go to the video. So this is the Skull controller case. As you can see, this is a really nice model. And in this video, we're gonna be checking out the best print settings to print it. As you can see, we got two models for Xbox and PS5. Both of these models can be printed with the same print settings, so you shouldn't be worried with that. The only thing that's going to change is the support um, areas that you're going to have to paint. In this video, we're going to be checking out some paint on support. The only thing that's going to vary is where you're going to paint, but this is going to be quite easy. In this video, we're going to be checking out the Xbox but it will apply to the PS5. So let's take a look. First, let's, let's start right here with layers and parameters. Right here on layer height, we're gonna be decreasing this value to 0.16 millimeters. By reducing this value, we're gonna have more layers to print. It's gonna take more time to print, but we're gonna have a finer and better quality. Right here in vertical shells, we're gonna be printing with three parameters, just so we can go, we're gonna have a really rigid um, controller case. Going over to infill, we're gonna be set, setting up to zero. So we're not gonna have any infill. It's just going to be the outer wall. Going over right here to brim, let's analyze if this model really needs brim. So brim is a really nice feature to increase the surface of contact to the build plate. As you can see, this tiny area is where it's going to um, touch the build plate. So the model is going to touch the build plate. And as you can see, we do not have the best surface area of contact, especially that this models are, are a little bit um, tipped. So if you do not have a good bed adhesion, um, your prints are going to unstick from the build plate. So a good way to get a really good bed adhesion is to always clean your build plate with some isopropylic alcohol or detergent just to get all of the dust off from your build plate or oils from your finger that are on the build plate because that it's going to impact a lot the bed adhesion. So always clean your build plate really well. And a good thing to help with the bed adhesion is to always level your printer to get a good first layer because a good first layer will secure your model to the build plate. And a good thing to do is to add brim. So we're gonna be adding some brim. Right here, we can be selecting a eight millimeter brim width just to guarantee that we're gonna have a better surface of contact. So we're gonna be increasing these tiny layers and increasing eight millimeter brim width. This is gonna help a lot and it's gonna make sure that our uh, model does not unstick from the build plate. So this is quite nice. This will apply to both models as I have said before. So we have added some brim right here on support material. We're going to be adding um, support material. But as you can see right here on uh, we got two options. We can auto-generate support, and if you're feeling lazy, you can do that. But it's going to add um, lots of support to areas that um, sometimes you do not need any support. So what we're going to be doing in this video is painting on support. So we're not going to be selecting auto-generated support. We're going to be painting support. But to paint support, we got to analyze which parts really need support. So I'm gonna be showing you in this video. Right here on style, we're gonna be selecting organic. Organic just because this model's got curvatures and organic helps a lot uh, to um, with models that have curves because it's going to, organic is another name for the tree support. Right here on top interference layers, what you can do is you can reduce to two just so it's easier to remove. But we do not need to change any of the other values, especially if you got a good profile that you like using for tree supports, 
feel free to use um, that one. Let's paint on support. So you can just select the area. Let's start with this one first. As you can see, we're going to paint on support right here. And a good way to know where you have to paint on support is to increase the highlight overhang right here. So as you can see, if we go over to uh, close to 30 degrees, you see that this area right here, there is the blue areas which we're showing where it needs support to that angle. This part right here is already touching the build plate as we have seen before, so it's already touching. We're not gonna add support. This part needs support, so you can just come right here uh, quite carefully and paint support. Let's say if you paint, uh, paint something uh, messed up, you can just select shift and clean it really well. So this is quite nice. Um, let's, um, let's take a look. Right here, it's recommending to put a little bit of support in this skull so I'm gonna be doing. It's better to be safe than sorry. So adding a little bit of support right here will help. It's optional. This um, this skulls, they got a good, a good overhang that your printer can print, but it's better to add some support just to guarantee a good quality. So this is it for this part. Uh, feel free to add more. If you increase, it's gonna show more areas, but around 30 to 35, 40, it's a good um, um, variation to take a look on support material. Let's go over to the other part. So do the same, select, go over um, 30 degrees. This is um, to show where you need support. So as you can see, this is quite nice. We are at a two brush size. So we can just select right here, these areas that are in uh, purple. This is going to guarantee, this is an arc right here. This is an arc. Usually your printer can print because it's going to connect, but to get a good result and um, leave no scars, I do recommend a lot using support really, because this is much better to get a really good um, result. Make sure you put a little bit of support in this um, section right here. This is going to connect to the other part of the controller and it's not touching the build plate. So I do recommend a lot adding to this part. And this, let's uh, let's analyze if this part really needs. Yeah, let's add a little bit of support in this connection too, because without this part, you're not gonna have a good connection to secure both parts together. Right here, this under part needs support, but you do not need, you can be, you do not need to paint carefully. This. Um, this is the underside, so this is going to be inside the controller. No one is going to see this, so uh, it can be a little bit rough. You, usually right here on this arc, you can be printing without any support. It's going to get some, a little bit messed up, some um, scars, but um, no one is going to see. So feel free to add some support or not. I'm gonna be adding because, as I always say, um, you're gonna be, I don't know, um, wasting 10 grams of support. Um, that's not gonna matter. It's, to get a good result, it's all worth it. Right here, I'm gonna be erasing, so selecting Shift and cleaning a bit up right here. So this is quite nice. Now, we are ready uh, to go back to the settings and we have already added some uh, change the settings for our support. And the same thing we're, we can be doing for the PS5 if you have this model. So just select all of these parts right here that need support, this under part two, and um, this skull right here. Um, let's analyze. You do not need too much support right here because this is going to be touching the build plate. So this goes to show that it's quite easy and I do recommend a lot painting on support. If you auto-generate, 
try to auto generate, you'll see that um, it's going to um, generate too much support. It's not going to look nice. It's going to take too much time to print and there is some unnecessary support. Let's go back. So right here on speed, you can be printing with the standard print speed, especially for bamboo lab printers. But I always do recommend printing a little bit slowly. Right here, I have changed the first layer speed from 30 millimeters to 20, just to get a good first layer, because the first layer is the most important layer. All of the other layers are gonna go on top of this one. So make sure you print really, really slowly. For the other um, um, settings, uh, feel free to vary as you may like. I tend to um, like a lot to remove, uh, actually reduce the small parameters. So let's say to 55. On small parameters, it's gonna reduce a little bit of the speed to guarantee that you get a good cooling and a good quality print. So now we are able to slice. So let's take a look. So as you can see right here, we have sliced and it looks quite nice. It's going to take 14 hours and 53 minutes to print. If you auto generate support, it's going to take much more time to print. I would say five hours more. As you can see right here, it generates a brim to help with the surface of contact to the build plate. So it's going to be increasing. And um, right here, the support is going to help a lot. This calls can be printing without any support, but it's better to be safe than sorry. This is gonna help a lot with bed adhesion too, because this is going to support a little. So this um, part has, um, it's got more structure, so it's not gonna tip off. And our support is going to be really nicely printed to support the areas that do not have a good surface. Um, that um doesn't have any support so as you can see it's going to print quite nicely all everything is going to be well supported and it's going to have a good quality print if you go over to speed you'll see that it reduces the speed on small parameters does not change too much for this model especially because um, this model doesn't have too many tiny parts so as you can see um just goes to show that three right here, there is no infill because it's going to be printing with already a three wall. So it's gonna turn really nice. So grab a really nice filament that you have laying around and print this model. So the model is ready to print. Make sure you check out stlflix.com for more models like this one. And I'll see you in another one. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STLflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.